Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network podcast. I am your host, Anthony Rigucci, and here with a few friends in the Delaware County area, we get in a basement and we talk about a certain topic. Today's topic is going to be PAX East 2019, of course, to discuss my co-host, Chris Trio. What's going on, guys? Gooch, how's it going? Good, man. Feels like uh, we just did this for some reason. Yeah, we did yeah. just do a podcast. Oh, that's why. Which is probably up right now. That you can go sense. watch it on Stitcher, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. All that good uh, stuff. YouTube. And if we're not on your favorite podcast app, let us know. We'll try we'll, to get we'll, on we'll it. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, before we get into PAX East, um, which we haven't done in a while, yeah. we like to get into what's going on. And um, it's been a while since I, I yeah. actually don't even know... What you're up to? Yeah, I've been, I've been a lot, lot up to a lot of stuff, but I will let you uh, talk about your shit. Yeah, I don't know. No, I mean nothing crazy new. I mean you know work, school, video games wise. I've been playing a lot of Sekiro, uh, Shadows Die Twice. Yeah, so really we'll, enjoying it. As have I. So we'll yeah. be reviewing that uh, this month. Yeah, probably towards the end of the month. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Just been playing a ton of Apex, fucking around with the new pass. That's been good. Uh, movies. I Moving mean, we just bit. talked about Shazam, Sorry. of course. <laughs> That's yeah. a great time. I also saw Us, which was... Oh, how'd you like that? It was... I liked Get Out more. I don't know if you've seen that at all, but, like, I, I don't know. There was a lot of, like, things where I don't I don't like when a movie makes me do this is where I'm like, oh, wait, why'd that happen? And, like, what's going I heard, on there? I heard like, it's very, like, complicated to a point where, like, it's... I just think like they pick at it. They try and over explain things, and yeah. I think it makes you be like, okay, you explain that to me, but now this doesn't make any sense. And, like... But it's it's good. I mean, I think Jordan Peele is a great director. I mean, the I think you'd appreciate the score a lot. I know you're a big music guy. I really like the their type of theme. Like it's it's very, I I don't want to say iconic because we don't know about it yet. But like you know it when you hear it. But it's it's good. I, I recommend going to see it at the very least if you enjoyed Get Out. Uh, make your own decision. It's definitely something you'll stew on for a couple of days. But besides that, no. Not much. I mean, yeah, just just enjoying life. What about you, Gooch? What have you been playing? I've been, um, of course, playing Sekiro. Of course, playing Apex. Yep. Kind of just, like, dipping into games that I'm trying to finish. Dark Souls. Um, playing a little Jack X Combat Racing. That's a that's a random game that I just threw out of nowhere. What was that? <laughs> Jack X Combat Racing. It's the uh-huh. fourth Jack game that's uh, an arcade. Uh, okay. Uh, racing game? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, besides Sekiro. Just kind of like playing some old games, getting achievements yeah, yeah, yeah. here and there. But I've been doing a lot more than playing games lately. Um, uh, two, uh, so the week before PAX, I was in New York, and I went to uh, Metal Gear in concert, which is cool. I've been to those kind of concert uh, sure. orchestras before. Yeah, yeah. This was awesome. You saw Game of Thrones, too, right? In Game of Thrones, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and Metal Gear. This is probably awesome. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That sounds really cool. Yeah. We but haven't did, done any of those together. No, we haven't. I definitely like definitely let me know if something like you think I'd be interested in coming into Philly. I'd definitely think about it. Like Game of Thrones is definitely something I'd be interested in. Yeah, but, I'm sure they're gonna do a tour once the season's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, they do it a week. Yeah, That's right. A week. A week. That's crazy. Um, wh- so yeah, I spent a day in New York, did some touristy stuff, and then saw the concert. Uh, yeah, yeah. Went to Midtown Comics. I picked up Green, uh, Lan- awesome. uh, Green Lantern, yeah, Green Arrow Rebirth. So I have the first volume of that. I okay. actually just finished um, Spider Man Blue, which I actually didn't like. I thought Spider-Man I was Spider Man Blue. It's the one where he's recapping essentially how Gwen Stacy dies. Oh, okay. Or like, so it, it's kind of like yeah, he's recapping to Gwen Stacy in a recorder about how oh. like she died and. How, um, like the relate, like how, what he thought of her before they were together, yeah. and then like with MJ too. It's very much like take the '60s Spider Man, and like that's the, yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah. It's a little, it's funny, it's a little old for my taste. Sure, and um, very of the time. I liked it, but like I don't think I like the style, and I kind of took away Rich. from it because it wasn't the Spider Man I'm a kid to. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like really Dude, like the silver age. How how comics drawn is half the appeal to me. Like I need to like the art. And also, like, the story. I will, One thing I forgot to mention, I've been reading on the DC Universe app, uh, the Justice Society of America run from Jeff Johns in, like, 04. It's, it's really cool. It's actually, like, it's different. Like, it's cool seeing, like, a, the Alan Scott Green Lantern and, like, uh, I mean, Jay Garrick Flash and all that. But it's an interesting storyline. I'm only, like, a two or three issues in. Yeah, and I'm, a, I'm about to start uh, year two of Injustice. It's really good. Which, yeah. Yeah, yeah I finished that on DC Universe. Yeah. I... Yeah. I need to catch up on Doom Patrol. I'm behind on that. Yeah. But, uh... Uh, that should be finished in a few weeks. Um, 
I don't know how it clashes with our schedule if we'll review it or not, but I know we wanted to. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Keep how, it on the radar. how are you liking it so far? Are you, are you, still, um, are you still digging it a lot? Or is yeah, it like- I actually give a shit. Like, again, like, I, well, not again. Well, yeah. I don't think we ever actually talked about the Doom Patrol on the podcast, but it like it just makes you give a shit about like characters you really wouldn't think like you yeah. care about. Robot um, Man, like he from what, from the few episodes I've watched, he's my favorite character so far. Like they do a really good job, but they haven't really gone much into the. Other I like yet, I me. like uh, Rita a lot. Rita, yeah. Like even though like Elastigirl is kind of like what I, yeah yeah yeah. I like her a lot, um, and then Negative Man's cool. Crazy Jane is probably the only character, like, I like, but, like, I don't really, like... It's like, whatever. Yeah. It's not like whatever, I just, like, don't really... I'm not really invested in her too much. Fair enough. She's kind of, like, the wild card character. Sure. But it's a cool show. Yeah. Um, and then, so after, the week after the Metal Gear concert, I would... We did packs, and that's Mm -hmm. what we're gonna talk about in a second. And then yesterday, I was back in New York for the kind of funny... Uh, meet and greet, which was fucking awesome. Got to meet Greg and and Tim and Nick. That's uh, awesome. And Andy and Cool Greg was there and Joey. And so the only one who wasn't there was Kevin. I'm not sure why oh. Kevin didn't go. Andy originally wasn't supposed to be there, and he but shot. he actually flew himself out. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, what a guy. dude. It was really cool. There was like 500 people showed up. I was pounding around with Jason and his fiance and a friend who I'll I'll tell you about in a little bit because I met her at Pax East. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, it was fucking awesome, man. It That's was cool. really cool to meet Greg. It was very, did, like, you, did you have, like, a second to actually talk with him? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, I did. That's cool. Um, That's really cool. It, it was, like, a little... Like, I got choked up. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, fan, no, it's like, a fanboy moment. It is. I was in line, and I'm like, fuck, like, Greg Miller. It's a guy that... Yeah, I mean, come on. I was the following only, their stuff for so how long. I wore, I wore my Batman v Superman shirt, only and one. I go, Greg, I was like, how many people have you seen with this shirt? And he's like... I, you might be the only. I was like, you're the only one. <laughs> I was like, yes. Good. I was like, that was the goal. And I was like, he's like, and he's like, and it's like, and the Overwatch League the jacket I was wearing, and, and then he made fun of Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. No, oh, dude, that hey, looked Joker, like a ton of fun. On? Sorry. No, no, you're fine. It looked like a ton of fun. It looked like you were having like the bar seemed cool and just hang out. And then it was like, fun to do that bar. Was not. Yeah, I was about to say, it was, probably, it was too packed. Dude, I mean, it we like went, yeah. the, the line literally went outside the bar, and I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, well, Joey was actually saying, she's like, dude, I talked to a, a lot of people from Philly, and I'm like, we, we should have maybe yeah, done it in yeah, Philly. Philly. Yeah, that I'm would, like, yeah, I'm like, you really need to do a meet and greet. Dude, that would be, that, I would have been there in a second if it was yeah. Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's but fun. finally, I, my life is slowing down a little bit, I, I've really like the last few like the last month i've just been like really running around running around and that's cool haven't really had like insane amount of time to like game on the weekend sure um i still haven't watched punisher (laughs) season two (laughs) sure i've been meaning to get to that um but that's that's kind of it with me um uh, of course we're going to talk about pax east which was last week so it all started on wednesday morning yeah well thursday chris trio gave me a call i got fucking Goddamn sinus infection, and I can't fucking go. I'm sorry, I don't mean to yell. Yeah, but I sadly <laughs> had to miss it. Uh, but Gooch, I want all the juicy details. I want to hear what happened. I want to hear what you played. What you can't tell me that you played. Just say that you can't tell me. That's fine. I actually, but, there's yeah, there's one that you said that you I, can't tell, I, right? You I literally, can't. you can't even say like you can't even tell what it was. No, I, I can tell. I, I can. Tell me off camera. Later. I don't think I... Okay, uh, no, but yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's, that's I awesome. I am under NDA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what, okay, let's start right, out. So what did you play that you can talk about? All right, so I'm, I'm going to try to go day by day, right. just to make it easier on my, my memory. So, right. PAX starting off Thursday. Thursday was definitely, like, the biggest day. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, biggest day announcement-wise. So, got to the con. Of course, I'm with shout-outs to H. Night Road. Uh, and Angry Shrimp. They're two of my guildies from Guild Wars 2 who are from Canada and they and I roomed with them. Sorry, I missed you, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. It was it was upsetting yeah. uh, that you couldn't be there because that was that would have been cool. Yeah, I, I was I saw I saw you guys like a different group. I saw you guys like playing video games or playing like Mortal Kombat or whatever you're playing and I was like Smash. Oh. Yeah, Smash. I was like, fuck, which was that? Yeah. Yeah. But no it, but it it was cool to go with like a different group and meet them yeah, for the first time and I've known them for years, but Yeah, that was probably so you've never met them in real life before. No, but, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, known but of them, course you've yeah, 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 yeah talking to them for forever. Like, for years. Yeah. That's really cool. Um so first game I played, uh Dauntless. I'm not sure if you heard of it. It's Have a first person uh not first person. Free to play game on PC and I think it's gonna come to consoles. It's still in beta. Essentially it's like Monster Hunter. Okay. Um you take down like big creatures. Uh the aesthetic is more like cartoony style. Kind of like Wild Star, if you remember that. Sounds animal. familiar. 
It's like it's a cartoony style. Okay. Uh, so it's not like super like a kid serious. to a Fortnite or like yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, okay. yes. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to think of something you would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. like, it can do Fortnite. That was fun. Um, so they were doing like the Dauntless booth was like, hey, like we have like you could pick like between like five different monsters, yeah. and it like if you killed one and you like broke the record for the packs, like you get to take a picture with some signs. I actually really know cool. somebody who I met up with. Uh, shout out to Eden Off. You can check him out on Twitch.tv slash Eden Off. He's a streamer. He, him and his friends, uh, we they played the guy that we fought, my group fought, um, and he they broke the record like really a few times. Yeah, That's and awesome. they kept going back in line and beating him. Uh, but I met up with him later, so I'll I'll get to him again. But he played that a lot. After that, uh, we went over to the THQ. Uh, it was it's me and Age at this point. Uh, Shrimp kind of disconnected, mind you. Yeah. I'm like alone with with them without them. Sure, like, yeah, everyone's often. doing their thing. Yeah, we yeah. kind of we kind of decided to hey, like this we're, is my first packs, yeah. but like we should disconnect and do the things we want to do and not try to like, yeah, not worry about being with each other. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. We actually met up pretty like finding each other was pretty. Yeah, easy. no, that's good. Um, it makes total sense. So after that, yeah, we went to, I went over to the Biomutant booth. I uh, played Biomutant. Play yeah. Uh, very early build. Um, so Biomutant is, sort of reminds me of like a mascot PS2 kind of game. Um, you play yeah, as like yeah, a yeah. little, a little like mutant rat hamster guy. Whatever, and, like, yeah. You can so, make your own, right? Is yeah, that there's, like, a, there's a character you creator, that? yeah, which I kind of like mess, mess with. around with a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Demo, sure. Like, constrained a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I, I wasn't like impressed, but I wasn't like not impressed. It's, it was fun, but it, it wasn't anything to It's like a third-person action about. game. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of cutesy. It just again reminded me of, like a PS2 like double A kind of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come closer. I'm just I'm trying to uh, I'm just um just adjusting. So I'm I was like, just don't get far away from yeah. the mic. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of like really like I like I just, it's not like a. I didn't like it. It's by human, human like Monster Hunter. By by I mean, or by ah, human, or, by the mutant. Both? What? Okay, That's, no, I got just I just got confused. Continue. Is it like Monster Hunter? No, in a way, you 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 fight big monsters like that, but like I don't. The main objective is to not just go is it and a, fight. Monsters. Is it an RPG? Or is it like more I, of like a I like actually an don't know. RPG or like... I, I, it may be action RPG. I didn't get an option to like select like skill trees or anything yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Sure. There may be different like equipment and stuff. But like so the game is like all the characters like squeak and make noises. Yeah. And like a narrator's like, you know, narrating the story of what's going on. Oh and he's, so he's okay. kinda being like quirky and like it's got its own style and flair, but I'm not sure how the game is essentially gonna be at launch. And I know okay. I've taken interest in like you yeah, and, it looked interesting, and Casey sure. Hallman has, has taken interest in it. But I'm not sure the demo I played is really like it's a like nice... Driving you. Yeah. I glitched out on the map, which was fun. I got hit and I literally flew up <laughs> and, and I came out, yeah. and I came back down. It took like a, like thirty yeah. seconds. <laughs> like I was just like That's funny. And but he landed <laughs> back on the map and yeah, yeah, yeah that's that funny. Fun. <laughs> that's interesting. Um the demo was kinda I, I don't think I finished it. Oh. Is it Oh, hey, Penza. What's up? Um, that was him. Big brain pee. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> um, yeah, Biomutant. I don't know. I wasn't sold on it. You were blown away. That's oh, we're not. I was not blown away. Right. Dauntless was kind of okay, too. All right. Um, I, I, have, I, I want to try out the, the beta, which is open to play. So if you want to play that, you can. So, well, I, I think you did. Did you get to the game scoop panel? The game, the, the, the literally line, that was next yeah, <laughs> yeah so what I after that uh, I got to see Brian Altano uh, Damon Hatfield Damn it. Uh, one of the writers from over here yeah I think he's in Maine and who's the new girl who does uh, the fix oh I don't know I forget her name but she was there she, as well yeah, I love Damon Hatfield that's like one of the Game Scoop's one of the podcasts I've listened to like religiously every week for like the past three or four years I really I don't listen to really any IGN podcasts anymore but, like, that's the one. I really love... David Hatfield does a really good show. Yeah. I was sad that I had to miss that. Joker, did I play Outer Worlds? No, it was not playable. Um, did they have just, like, a... They had a panel show? that I didn't go to because I was going to something else that I... And I don't think I realized they had one. So, oh, I, didn't, I didn't go to that panel, and there was no playable Ooh. demo for that game. Hmm. Um, yeah, so that panel was cool. Good. Um, it well, was cool to see... Uh, Brian Altano, Damon Hatfield. Yeah, yeah. You guys have been kind of following for a while. Definitely. Either from Kind of Funny or their own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, 
Brian more so from kind of fun. Damon obviously from IGN. Sure, well, he's yeah. really crossover on kind of fun. No, I think I, I don't think he's been on it. Has he been on any of uh, guests on any other things at any time? I'm actually curious. I don't think he has. I don't know. But yeah, no, I I really like. I like all that commentary, so I'm sad I had to miss it. But I'm glad you got to check it out. Uh, Matt asks, can I talk about the game I signed an NDA for? No. I can't talk about it. I mean, that's, I, I'll bring it that's up. That's kind of the point of an I NDA. Can't, I can't talk about it. Yeah. He'll tell me after, and I'll know, but you won't. Yeah, I'm not telling you. <laughs> wow. I saw, well, I, saw, I, saw, I signed a law-abiding contract to not talk about it. I can probably tell you that I signed an NDA. <laughs> Anyways. Don't, don't, yeah, don't try to, like, pry this information off me. Anyway, yeah, so I went from that panel, and what I was gonna do was go to the Gearbox announcement, which I think was the biggest thing that happened at PAX this yeah. year, was the Borderlands 3 announcement. Well, guess what? Main theater was full by the time I got out of the panel, right, so and I didn't get to see it. But see, that's what I sat in the lobby and watched it on my phone. <laughs> so, there, one thing I didn't love about New York Comic Con when we went was when we wanted to go to the Going big, to panels was easy. Was it? Okay, it was. It was some of them the big, filled. Some gonna, of them filled up, and you had to get there a little early. Yeah. But it's not like you were in line. Like, before t- the gates an opened and everything. Like, I remember when we'd go in for, like, we tried to see that Iron Fist panel or whatever, and it was already packed before we even s- got in the building. And yeah. I was like, I was like, well, what's the fucking? How are you even supposed to get in? But yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. So, um, for those who don't know, <laughs> Borderlands One is remastered and on current platforms, uh, as well as the pre sequel and Borderlands Two, which got like 4K updates yeah. and stuff. Borderlands VR, Borderlands Two VR got an update. They have a tabletop game. Also, their their presentation went like super awry. I don't know if you guys watched that, but no, I didn't. Uh, I don't think any like I was watching it on stream and I couldn't tell if like. So, like, whatever f- video they had exported was not playing correctly. And it was a f- video in 4K. Interesting. So, like, whatever computer it was on was just, like, not working. <laughs> really? And, just like, it was like fun, and yeah. Randy Pitchford was, like, playing it off well in the beginning. And then it kept happening. Like, the trailer for Borderlands 1 Remastered, yeah. like, stopped, like, three times. And I'm like, is he just fucking with yeah, us? Yeah, like, what's like, going on? Like, yeah. like, what's going on? Like, that was the vibe of the... Of the yeah, he the was, media that means he was playing it. That means he's playing it off pretty well. But then it gets to the point. And then we were just where like, like dude, right, like everything here. they're playing is like getting fucked up. Yeah, that sucks. And they did a he did like a weird magic trick to like kill time about the apparently Randy Pitchford is like a magician. Didn't know like, that. Didn't know learn that. something Fun new fact. every day. And he was doing like a goofy little card game to like show off the tabletop game. I, I don't know why. But then uh, we got our Borderlands three announcement. Um, and honestly, I'm fucking hype for Borderlands 3. I cannot wait I'm ex- to play. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm not like, it looks like more Borderlands, definitely, to me. I, 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 like, I, I hated Borderlands 2, and I think Borderlands 3 is really going to just get me back in. I, I, I really Why did like, you I hate mean, Borderlands 2? Because I played it alone. Really? I played it alone. I didn't. I hated it. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed Borderlands 2, but I wasn't like, I was never like, Borderlands, Borderlands, Borderlands. I mean, I thought the trailer was cool. I didn't think it was anything that blew me out of the water. I mean, sure, there's guns and walking so around with legs, which was pretty crazy. But we got we did get a trailer this week, so we the the date is September thirteenth. Oh shit! Okay, I did not know that. Um, and the the villains are called the Calypso Twins. Okay, and we got the names of the characters. Um, Flack, who's that robot looking dude? Zane, the guy who looks like he's from um, Hyperion. He's kind yeah, of yeah, weird. Yeah. Uh, the the siren's name is Amara, and Somebody in chat could tell me the girl who's like a gunner. I don't remember her name. Um, I'm. I kind of want to play them all. The siren looks awesome, so I played the siren in, in Borderlands Two, and then the Berserker. So we're like going to like different worlds and stuff this time. It around looks too, like, right? like yeah. planets and everything. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it looks cool. I'm excited. I don't know. There's nothing that like I was like, man, I need this now. But I'm I'm excited. I'll definitely I'll definitely pick it up, especially if all of us are getting it. We'll all yeah, jump in all the yeah. time. That'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's a four player call, but really, please fucking get it. And I gotta <laughs> say, I will say, like Borderlands was like I'm trying to think back was one of those first like I don't know if it's the same type of thing as like a Destiny, but like you're playing a co op open world together and you're getting through. Like I'm excited to have it not be like a loot. I guess it is a looter shooter. But not in the same way of like your your destinies and stuff. At least that's what they're, they're going to share loot more around this time too, right? You don't have to worry about like sparsing it out. I heard. Yeah. So which is cool. I'm I'm excited. I am. It should be cool. Was that the most major game announcement there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There wasn't yeah. anything really else. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't really any big announcements after that. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. But I again, did. PAX isn't for announcements really, right? No, it's, it, it's, 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 is. it's supposed to be more. Of, I thought it was supposed it to be is. more of like the Comic Con, like. 
It's kind the of consumer-based more than, like, your E3. Not, not really. Okay. I mean, like, there are demos, yeah, but, like, I, I think announcements happen at PAX East. Gotcha. Um, I, like, I think Borderlands 3 being announced at PAX East is pretty No, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think, I think the rest of the day, I just roamed the con floor. I know I definitely didn't play any other games that day. Um, the, the floor was pretty big. Uh, they had, like, a bunch, you know, everyone had booths. Um, Days Gone had a booth, uh, you know, Corsair, comp- all these companies had booth. There was a Magic the Gathering tournament going on there. There was a Smash tournament, a Splatoon tournament, a Tekken 7 tournament going on at the PAX Arena, which all was, right, like, that's pretty sweet. uh, the main thing. There was, you know, a bunch of D&D booths, and if you were in the tabletop, there was a lot of sections there. Then the, the Mindy, Mindy, Mi- Indy Mega booth, um, was also there. Um, and that, like Mortal Kombat was there on Switch as well as uh, Yoshi's Island Adventure. Mortal Kombat's on Switch. Wow. Yeah, and that eleven is coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it was playable there. Um, did it look good? Like, yeah, it... I mean, yeah, no, I mean, because those I games look saw. like Injustice and this new, like the facial animations and everything. They look fucking awesome. Yeah, but yeah, I'd be I'd be curious to see what that looks like. I'm trying to think. Um, just talking about the floor. Yeah, I you know just speaking to Days Gone. I didn't hear anyone talk about it. And I don't know... Like, one thing I think from what... Was there, like, a big announcement there for it? No, it was just play Oh. Um, from what I understood, this PAX was kind of like... There wasn't that one big game that, like, everyone was talking about and everyone was playing. And I didn't necessarily expect Days <laughs> Gone to be that game. Yeah. But the fact that I wasn't hearing anything about it or that it was, like, even good, I think... Like, Were you hearing that it's could, bad? No. So but yeah, just mm. confirms my suspicion of I think this game is going to be a generic game, yeah. which is why I'm not getting it. I'm yeah, not I mean, again, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, no, I'm no, I hear you. And then, like again, like with these games, I do think companies for the most part these days are good about letting you know what you're getting into. Maybe not with like these these bigger like your act, the fucking anthem and all that stuff, but like usually what you're getting out of the trailers, what you're getting in the game. And yeah, I agree. This looks pretty generic and whatever maybe i'll pick it up if it's 20 bucks at some point but yeah i'm not getting a day one for sure yeah Days gone. um so pretty much thursday i wrapped up packs by going to the what's good uh panel so basically they just did a podcast awesome. live yeah. and they just kind of recapped day one of packs i got to meet andrea uh, <coughs> brit bon- brit brombacher and uh christine steimer that's that was cool, cool. Yeah. um and I love Angela. She's she's really good. Andrea. I love her, Andrea. What did I say, Angela? Angela. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, no, Way she's really. No, just, I mean she she is really good. I don't listen again. I don't listen to her and Greg as much as I want to anymore, which kind of sucks. Really, you need to step it up. I think I think you're okay. really like it's like, my, like I, you fell off of kind of funny. You sort of at a period where they went through a transition. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I, saw I think they are. I was like KFAF. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I'll have to. I, it is I gotta Nick get back and Andy it. just being goons the and it's, entire time. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. I yeah, I don't know. I, I really like my only real video game podcast that I listen to anymore is Game Scoop. That's the and then I mostly listen to like Do Go On and and then the Weekly Planet. Well, and stuff like one that. good thing about what's good is like you'd expect like a lot of crossover between them and kind of funny or like not you even might just think of it, not yeah. even just them but like the people they have on and that's really not the case. Interesting, which is kind of cool. It's good. Um, because you know, Andrea, I, like, I don't even think Greg has ever been on What's Good. Um, mind you, Greg is his own show to run. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he needs the publicity. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was the first day. Awesome. Um, Friday. I'm trying to remember exactly what I did on Friday in the in the morning. I'm gonna Anything go look at some peek out at you? Anything that you can remember? That was my one issue. I'm like, am I gonna remember what I did every day? Oh, yeah, you don't have to remember everything. Of course, I went to like panels i'm not going to talk about yeah um oh literally the first thing i did when i walked into pax on friday was i went to the discord booth got this shirt that i'm wearing so this is the discord exclusive pax yeah. east shirt that's cool and then i got uh a wumpus plushie of course this is that little like pig dude yeah i'm just trying to everyone through. needs the wumpus plushie i'm trying to go through my pictures to remember what did you happened. see any people on the floor like podcasters that you care about or anything or um anything like- I knew of a Twitch streamer who was there who was kind of big, and I actually... Like any Instagram people that you care about or anything like that? see her. N- not really. Yeah. Um, you know Darshell Stevens? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there. Yeah. She actually got picked up to go on stage 
for like that magic trick that Randy Pitcher did. She, oh really? For, it was her birthday, and then like Randy Pitcher was like, "Who's anyone's birthday?" And like she, was, I guess she was like towards the front. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking what I did. Oh, okay. So for, I don't think I played any games Friday morning. Um, I think I just kind of wandered. One, th- I actually mean that. How how were the lines? Depends on what game. Really. Yeah, it really depended on what game. Biomutant I was, gonna say, like, was like Biomutant. 35 minutes to 45 minutes. The longest demo... Oh my god, Gina. The longest demo I played I played on Friday, and I'll, I'll tell you what that is in a sec here. Oh, the, non, um, the NDA one? What? I tried. Sorry, uh, guys. No, I tried. Oh, I did do that on Friday. Did That's you? what I did on yeah. Friday. So I... Ro- oh, there we go. It's all coming back. So I roamed, basically when I went on Friday, I just roamed around and looked at some booths. Um, I know you can't tell us the game. Would it be a major one that people would know? Can you even say that? I'm, I'm just not going to You really can't even say I, that? I do, I, I'm just not going to say. I signed a legal document. <laughs> no, I get what you said, but I mean, I've heard Greg and stuff on the, like, as long as you don't say the name or what you're playing, like, I, I don't think that's um, even somewhat in it, but. I'm just not going to say. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say. Sorry, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be that dude. I mean, I just don't. I've I've seen them sign NDAs on there all the time, and they don't, as long as you're not saying the game or what you played, you're I fine. I know. I'm just not gonna say. Was it a big game or not, Cooch? I'm not gonna say. That's a yes. He said yes. I'm I not know gonna it. say. Maybe it was. I'm gonna beat Maybe it out of you after this. I swear to God. Um. So after. So yeah, I played that game, and I. Uh, after that, I went back to the comp floor. I think I roamed around a little bit more, and then. I went to uh, Major Nelson's panel. He had he had a, I don't know if he does a podcast, but it's called Major Nelson Radio. But he was just like talking about Xbox, and people got a chance to talk to him about like Games Pass, which was a really hot topic. Which I got a fucking year free that's just awesome. for going. That's literally like, did he give it out to everyone? Or yes. Like, oh, that's before actually before really we cool. even walked they in, just, as you're walking in, yeah, and I was like, like here, and here. we're all just like, oh, like I was standing next to a dude. I was al- like, I was alone yeah. in this, and like I had it, and he's like. And, like, this dude next to me, I'm like, holy shit, a year? And he's like, wow. That's pretty sweet. Fuck. That's, yeah. like, really dope, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, uh, so they were talking about a game called After Party, which I did demo, um, that like, later that day. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, uh, the dev of that who is in deal with Game Pass, and they actually make Oxen Free as well. Um, those two games are going to be on Game Pass. Or, Oxen Free is an After Party when it comes out as the day one release on Games Pass. So they were just kind of talking about Games Pass, what Xbox had um, at their booth. They had a mixer booth and a few games on demo. Not necessarily anything notable. Um, just kind of like some smaller indie titles. Okay. Um, and <laughs> so they did Q&A and some people tried to ask some pretty like good questions to Major Nelson. He's like, nice try. Like, well, like, like what? Like- it, it was interesting. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but like just questions that like Major Nelson, like, like, it was interesting to hear him answer questions. Being as big as a, yeah, yeah. as head of like Xbox as he is, not yeah, head yeah. of Xbox, but, but like, like yeah, he's he, up there. He has a, a social, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, he he had to be careful about like exactly what he was saying. But like, so, like his one thing, he was like, oh, like, can I talk about this? <laughs> no, 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 I can't. <laughs> he was like, no, I definitely actually can't. forget it. Yeah, but that was cool. So after that. I roamed the con hall again, and I went. I went to go play After Party. So After Party is essentially a game where you're two characters, and you're sent to hell, and you're trying to get out of hell. And hell is just one big bar, <laughs> like a just a bar. <laughs> like yeah. a, like like Satan just likes to party and drink. So like, like it. Like you go to bar, you go to bars, and basically you're trying to get out of hell. And to get out of hell, you have to beat Satan in, a, in at drinking. Yeah. Uh, so, like, the, the demo was, like, 20 minutes long. It was only, like, three stations, and I waited, like, a long time to play it. But, yeah. like, it was really fucking good. Yeah. Um, and basically, like, you, you're you at this, bo- like, you're the two characters. One is played by Janina uh, Gavankar. She plays the main character in Battlefield 2. Okay. Or Battlefront 2. Yeah, Janina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ashley Birch is also in the game. Okay. And I think a few other notable voice actors. Um, so basically, it revolves around drinking, right? And each different drink you can drink has different 
dialogue options based on like what the drink is. Mm-hmm. So like you can react differently based on what you're drinking. Uh, okay. And you play like beer pong and one of the things and it's 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 a narrative and dialogue yeah. driven, but like it's based around drinking. Sure. It's I think it's really cool. All I'm right. definitely gonna get it. All right. Cool. It was really good. It's, I, uh, I kinda wanna look it up. The now. art style is cool. I would check out the trailer. I think what I played, um I think you can probably look up because uh, was at um at the Major Nelson's panel they were playing the gameplay that I played. Or the, the part. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I really liked it. Um, and that is on Xbox P- and PC. I think that's it. Okay. Um, I think that's Friday. Mind you, that line was really long. So it kind of um, took up a lot of time. Yeah, a I lot of fucking time. Just trying to... How long was the line for the one that you signed the NDA for? It wasn't. There wasn't a line? Did you, did you just sign up for it? Um, it was low key. Okay, that's why. I, oh, what did they like walk around a bit? I'm like, hey, uh, no. Huh. Interesting. Like, I'm curious. I got any. Even works. <clears throat> I knew somebody. Oh, really? Or somebody I knew knew somebody. Anyway, Gooch knows a guy. Now we're going to Saturday. Uh, Saturday went right to uh, Divinity Fallen Heroes. Do you know what Divinity is? Sounds familiar. It is like a D and D style. Um. RPG. Okay. Really hardcore, top down. I definitely have heard of it. You take turns. It's kind of like a tactics based game. Okay. Uh, Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2 are basically the open world versions of this. So, what Divinity Fallen Heroes is, by Larian Studios, it's basically take the combat of Original Sin, take that, that those combat systems, take it out of the open world. The open world's gone for this game. Okay. Now, essentially, it's 60 missions of that combat, and there's, like, dialogue choices, there's choices you have to make, like, on the bridge of your ship. So, All right. You, so, you have, like, these altercations, and I guess you win, or you, well, you, you know, you have to win yeah. to progress. Yeah. But, like, the story is being told through those battles, and back on your bridge where you're making decisions, and the dialogue's happening, but there's no open world. So, it's kind of like... Yeah, essentially, the game's combat, but just not open world and not all of that. Interesting. So it's kind of scaled down a little bit. Um, all right. And the gameplay is more finely tuned. I like the demo I played. The game is really hard. All right. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not very easy. T- yeah, yeah. Um, so I died, like, twice. I didn't get very far Shit. in the demo. Wow. Um, but what I what I liked, or what I played, I did like. I, I, I played Original Sin. I played 40 hours of it, and Jeez. I couldn't get into it. Really? For me to not get into a game to the point where I don't beat it is very rare. Yeah. Like, I don't play yeah. games, and I, I finish everything I play. Yeah. And I, I was playing with a buddy, um, and I just, like, I was like, dude, like, I'm like I just can't get into this Yeah, no, it is fun. I don't the know, dialogue like, wasn't hitting for me. The quests really weren't interesting. The world just wasn't engaging me. Yeah. I, I don't know what it was, but I was like, you know what? You know, I'm here. I'm going to give it a try. It got announced, like, the Wednesday before PAX. Sure. So it was, like, brand yeah, new. This is the first time it was being... Shown, so I was like, "Why the fuck not?" I'm oh, that's awesome. Try to check this out. That sounds interesting. Um, after that, I roamed around for a little bit, and then I got um, online for a game called Tunic. Tunic is basically Legend of Zelda, except you play as a little fox guy. Okay, Do you remember that from me? I feel like I've actually heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's, it's literally yeah. So I played that, and actually, while I was in line for that game, uh, there was a girl in front of me wearing a What's Good shirt who I actually started talking to. Her name's Devin, and we went to the What's Good meetup together, which awesome. we'll get to, but. Uh, we were talking before we were playing the game. Um, so, yeah. Tunic is just literally just that. What I just explained. Awesome. Legend of Zelda, but you're a little fox guy. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the art style is a little different. But what's cool is um, the game is entirely like the... There's like signs and stuff that tell you what to do. But they're in like a runic language. So you don't really know what they so say. Like but just... like sometimes they have like pictures. So you, oh, so you kind of like have to devise put together. From what, yeah, but yeah. like from what I played, I, I liked it. It's yeah. definitely like a cool indie game. I know it's on Xbox. I was going to say, is it coming to Xbox? And I, and I played it on Xbox, okay. mind you. Sorry. I uh, I think a lot of the demos, I think, are PC demos. Like I played but you play with a controller. controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that game, again, was running on PC, but I was playing with an Xbox controller. Yeah. Um, but I know it's on Xbox. Sure. It was funny. I was like standing behind the demo and like there were three TVs of the game yeah. and behind each of the TVs is like a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I was like, so that's oh, how it works. I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it was pretty funny. Yeah, it's just hooked up behind it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, were they like Alienware's or like really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were like, they were like good laptops uh-huh. and stuff. Um, but that was fun. Uh, and I think I went to a panel after that. When was the What's Good 
meet up was that Sunday or Saturday? this is so we're on Saturday right okay. now. Um, it was a, yeah. So I wandered the con for a little bit, and then uh, the What's Good meetup I went to, and I actually saw Devin like while I was going there. I ran into her, and we were gonna meet up there, but we ended up walking there together. So um, went to the What's Good meetup at a bar. Um, awesome. Kind of like were there a lot of people there. Or? Not as much. It's kind of funny. Sure. Uh, how many people were there? Guess Maybe the like rough guess. I'll throw like fifty to a hundred. Okay. Um, it was pretty packed. Again, like another small bar, kind of like. I, I don't I don't know if like I was like eh, it wasn't like that much room but yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. got to I got to talk to Andrea a little bit and and Britt and Steimer that's awesome um and kind of meet them and just like shoot the shit really cool it's it's really interesting to meet people like that now that I met kind of funny as well yeah they're just like normal people I mean yeah that's a, <laughs> like, you just like, sounded like you like, sounded like the thing for like Hollywood hey man we're just normal people like me and you yeah no yeah yeah I mean they're but good. like I don't know you listen to them so exactly much, they're put they're on like, I don't want to say they're put on a pedestal but they're put on this they're put in this different I mean maybe echelon. I might put them yeah yeah, they're, yeah. they're in a different echelon and, and then like, just and then meeting them is like a little bit humbling probably. and I talk a- Andrea's husband is John Drake who yeah. I, was, I was chatting with a little bit he was he was cool awesome. <laughs> kind of funny. That's cool, no, like but it's cool that you get to meet these. You get to meet these people, and they're not jerk offs, and they're they're actually cool. And like, you, they always say, "Never meet your heroes." But oh, wait. That morning, I played. No, Friday morning. We're going back to Friday. I played Falcon Age, What's that? which is a VR game where you control this. Little hawk, yeah. You have this like hawk on your arm, yeah. So this is for PlayStation VR, and okay. like you get to like put clothes on him and shit, and like he goes out and like attacks things, and like you have this like whip yeah. that you use, and like to like like move obstacles and stuff, and like kill enemies, but like you can also like tell your hawk to go kill things, and it'll fly around and call him back, and like you bring him on his arm. Really cool. That's awesome. Uh, it was very funny. I I was the the dev who was like walking me through it. I got pretty far, and she was like, oh, you got pretty far, good, and, like, compared to other people. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, it is, like, she had to explain it to me. Yeah. Even to somebody who, like, knows games. For like, sure. I don't really know, the, like, the move controls, yeah, but, yeah. like, I, period, like, I don't know what buttons are what. And, like, yeah. she was like, okay, like, left hand, and Third she was, button like, down, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm, like, like, telling me what to do, and I'm like, yeah, you really do have to yeah, tell like, me what you know, to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really don't know anything. Like, I, like... That's I figured fine. it out pretty quick, but like, sure. I didn't know. Like, but you the game that, is like, like co- somewhat complicated. Yeah, like there are like, and they're not that... giving you the tutorial moment that'll take too long. They'd rather just have someone sit there and yeah. say, "What's going on?" Pl- yeah. I think I was playing a tutorial, but it was still like pretty still, bare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I liked the game. It was awesome. really cool. Dude, VR, I do want. They like were... when we played the so, VR at Tim's house, that really gave me like one of the biggest smiles on my faces I've ever had in a while. So PlayStation had a besides the Days Gone booth, they had old PlayStation VR booth. So the Trover game, which is um. Who makes Rick and Morty? Oh, Royland, Justin Royland? Yeah, it was his game, was there, and then a few other games that I don't remember off the top of my head. But that was cool. I did awesome. it on Friday. I think. Um, but then, then Saturday was that. What's Saturday, was the last I think thing? I. I uh, no, I went back and I think I did some panels and roamed the floor. Um, mind you, making some purchases along the way. Sure. Um, I bought, so on Saturday, I bought, I showed you that, um, the, uh, paper please pay. Yes. I got a Dark Souls shirt, and you probably can't see up here. Oh, grab Solaire. Uh, so they had these Dark Souls figures, so it's from Dark Souls 1, Solaire. That's pretty sweet. Oscar, and, uh, Siegmeier. Yeah, dude, they're really cool. Oh, they're really solid, too. Yeah, they kind of look like Amiibos. And, yeah. like, and you, you know me, I'm tr- I try to get a figure at every con. And I was kind of, yeah. like, counting this one out for some reason. No, merch wasn't really, like, grabbing me up front besides the Discord stuff. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. had this is, like, the second purchase I made uh, two days into it's the awesome. con. It's awesome. I really yeah, like and it. I saw these, and I was like, dude, they, they look good. Like, I probably won't see anything else like this. No, ever. yeah. That's, uh, how much was that? Uh, I think it was you seventy nine for all three. Okay, so that's you can buy them separate, but yeah. they gave you a deal. What's good about uh, these cons and stuff, especially with packs? So like Corsair has a booth, which is um, like my headset's Corsair. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. Um, and a few other like vendors have, have their booths. and they booths. and they always run sales on the stuff they have there. That's good. So it's kind of like a good opportunity to um, pick up some stuff on the cheap. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, like. Uh, Age had just got a new computer and he bought Corsair. So he got a Corsair case and he got fans from them because they were cheap. Awesome. But yeah. Cool. So like, like there's always like cool stuff to buy. The D&D stuff is like endless. They have a like 
Dude, they had a booth that was like dice yeah. made out of like Damascus steel and really? stuff. Dude, and like the, the, the really big. high end D yeah, yeah. stuff that like 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 just so went over my head. And We've talked was, like, about this, this before. This is absolutely insane. I'd love to get into like a real D and D match, like with a good with a good like dungeon master or something. I think yeah. it would be really. Yeah, that's what I told the guys, and I was like, dude, like I have never played D and D, but I would love to play. It's yeah. just like I don't know people who who do. Yeah. That's kind of the issue there. And you do need, like, a dungeon master that knows what they're doing, too. Or else it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that too. Um, and then Sunday uh, was the short day. I essentially just went there, roamed the halls, and then I left, came home. Yeah. Uh, How was the ride, by the way? It was all right. Um, I had to stop, like, both times. Like, I had to stop for gas. Sure. And then I stopped to eat lunch and, like, yeah. eat essentially um pretty traffic was pretty light i never hit traffic it was just like kind of a long drive yeah some podcasts it was good Good. um and like one or two on the way out nice but that was kind of it like my i really i really enjoyed pax um sorry uh i really enjoyed pax i would definitely go again you know plus i want to go the first time yeah um (laughs) if you have any questions about anything or maybe something I saw. I know I didn't talk about everything. Again, there's so much at PAX, you can't do everything. No. Um, it's, like, really hard to, like, a lot of, like, some of the panels and stuff I wanted to go to. Like, Did you see the entirety of the floor? Though? Yeah, like, did yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, So, yeah. like, in the way of when we went to New York Comic Con, like, we did, it was big. We saw the whole floor, though. But I do remember by the end of that, I was like, fuck, I'm tired. Walking yeah, up, up yeah. Up. So was it like, as big as that? Like, floor-wise, do you think? Can you remember? I know it's tough. We, it was two years ago. Honestly... I think PAX East is is a little bigger, but it's not as cramped. Okay. I think New York Comic Con was fucking cramped. As I, hell. I, I, excuse um, me, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know if cra- it was cra- like a like, lot of those lot booths of... were really close together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Plus, I there was no like Artist Alley at PAX. Like, yeah, there's that, that's that true. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's actually very true. Like, there's D and D booths, but they're not. They're not like. You know, right. selling art. They're selling like D and D, like dice or, or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Something along the lines of that, like dice holders or or whatever. Well, I mean, dude, it sounded like you had a great time. I'm sad I missed it. I mean, but, yeah, like it just sounds like what PAX should be and what it sounds like it was going to be. So that's yeah, cool. um, Boston was cool. Did it beat your expectations? Exceed them on I don't par? Think, or I don't really think I had expectations going to PAX. Um, I feel like. You know, I, no, I don't know. I don't think... No, you were kind of just going in, you were ready to experience it when it was what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I got a lot out of it. Again, it's kind of hard to do everything there, like panels. Like and, any and, con, yeah. Yeah, 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 like you kind of need to like go, like going to a con, like like going in on one day, it's like, okay, like I want to get, you need, what you want to do, you, get, you need to do it first and get it out of the way so like really you can have freedom to do other things. Like, yeah. Whatever. Hell yeah. Um, it, getting in line is like, kind of half the con is like sure not not half of it but like a lot a of quarter it of it yeah, yeah. waiting for games but like um, um there were like uh, like every game was getting played there were a lot of indie games like i didn't get a chance to play like there's just like you couldn't play everything even if you fucking wanted of course to. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah final fantasy 14 had a booth there and i know they have a big presence at cons and remember so remember the square booth that we walked into in new york comic con yeah. they had like the same thing so they had kingdom Hearts 3 demos and demos yeah. for other games tomb raider was there like games that were already out they yeah. had like demos for and stuff and then the square enix merch shop um I'm trying to think of any booths that i didn't talk about um I mean, yeah, it sounds awesome. It really does. Yeah. I, I cons, are, cons are cool. They really are. If you're into any, like, I mean, especially, uh, I only have my experience from New York and Philly, but, like, if you're into this stuff, go for a day. Like, go for, even at, like, Philly Comic Con or something. It's worth it. It's a fun time. It's yeah. like a Super I mean, if Bowl you're, for nerds. And, and if you're, if, like, if you're traveling, I think you can try to need to make a weekend out of it. But if you're, yeah, like, no, definitely. If you're in the area, like, and if you're, like, you especially live near for, Boston, like, a Philly Comic Con or something. Yeah. yeah, like, I would say at least try to do a day. But, like, yeah, yeah. if you're flying and try to get everything. I, but, like, I would say, like, I didn't really need to do Sunday. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, I mean, even Saturday that's how we work. found it with the other cons, too. I remember, like, yeah, Philly, like, we'd never go on Sunday, really, or even... Well, no, we, uh, we, we last year we didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, that's true. And I'm, but they I'm were inter- always our shorter days, I'm interested sure. to see how we're going to do it this year. I mean, we'll probably do Friday and Saturday again. I want to yeah. cosplay Superboy, by the way. Yeah, that's an easy one. I don't know what I'll do. Are you going to do Jay again? Or I could, but I feel Jay like I could... 
I'm doing that. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it something out. I might do something easy. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll mull it. Up. When is isn't it next it's month? In June. Yeah, May, June, July. Okay. It's it, it was really early last year. Yeah. It was like it was like May like eighteenth, and it's never, ever. Yeah, that Super will probably want to come for another day too. So we'll, yeah. Yeah. Um. Maybe you know say. Chris. Um. Or... Yeah. Well, like like what we did for New York Comic Con. Like we were there Friday and Saturday, and like. That, that was, was plenty. Enough. Yeah. But well, like one thing I think I learned from New York Comic Con, and just like specifically New York Comic Con, is this, that whole panels business. Like that for, really was rough. like I, again was... again for PAX panels, like you just got in line and like you maybe like you waited in it like for the bigger ones like an hour. Yeah, the bigger ones we just couldn't even get into unless you had the dude. The it, was a, it, was a, it was such a joke. I remember. Yeah, we were trying to go see the Defenders. I think it was the Defenders panel, and we it was our, it was by the time they opened the doors, it was all full. Yeah, like, I was I like, what I are we even supposed that. to do? Yeah, like. Yeah. You have to pay for the extra passes. Yeah, no, I that sounds good. I mean, obviously the smaller panels were fine, but for New York, we're getting into it. Yeah, we didn't do any panels in New York. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. We did zero panels. Yeah, I don't think that. What what panel did we go to? I'm trying to. We definitely went to like one of like the littler ones that we do at like Philly and stuff like that. I feel like we never. We did not go to any. There's no way we didn't do we any panels. All the panels. We didn't go to one. I don't think that's true. Well, which one? Which one? I thought there was like one, like another superhero one with what's his name that we always go to, even in Philly, like he he was there and stuff like that. I thought we went and saw Travis? smaller ones. Yeah. No. We definitely did. I'm telling you, we didn't. We just we were on the floor the entire time. Yeah. It doesn't sound familiar, but it doesn't really even matter. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Anything else, Scooch? I don't want to cut you off. I'm trying no, to... no. I mean, if uh, I, I kind of feel like I've not skimmed over that anything, but went over my entire days. I mean, like, you know, mind you, again, a lot of my time was waiting yeah. for stuff and doing panels. You know, I, um, I'm i trying to think of some of the panels I went to that I didn't talk about. I went to a cosplay panel with uh, some of the guys because they wanted to go. Yeah. One of them was just, like, materials, which kind of was, like, so it was so it was so like in depth that it would like kind yeah, of going over your head. head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like this is like way too much. Yeah, like, yeah. I, like I'm like like I, how to build certain things. And well, what like type well, of materials what to what materials yeah. to use, and it's like what works with like like this kind of glue. And I'm yeah. just like, well, but mind you, it was just it was a good opportunity to sit down. Sure, yeah, yeah. It was funny. I would, like in one of the panels I was in, like somebody was literally like, passing out like in the <laughs> panel. And I was just like, yeah, because it's fucking. Hectic as hell. Uh, it's, I guess it's, were those it's tired. I guess those were Philly with Back to the Future and everything. And yeah. The Thor one. Yeah. I just thought we would have done one. No. And I, I think, think like, uh, that was a mistake in uh, just like the way we, we didn't, well, we didn't was, I think we kept trying to go for the bigger ones and we would never get in. Yeah. And then it was like, wow. I knew the Walking Dead one was in Madison Square Garden. That's right. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm glad you had fun. It yeah, like I did. Time. I did. Um... I don't know if I'll do packs again next year. It, actually, I didn't end up spending as much money as I thought it was going to be. Cool. That's um, good. Hotel was nice. Yeah. Uh, actually, hotel was fucking really nice. Really? Way nicer than I had, like, originally Anticipated. thought. Anticipated? Yeah. 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 Like, it, like, it was, like, like kind of, like, what we went over. Like, it was, like, minimalist. Yeah. Min- minimalist. Our room wasn't very big. Uh, it had, like, a table, a chair, and a TV. Awesome. And, like, that was the extent of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, like, the bathroom. Did it have, like, a kitchen or anything in it? Or no. was it just, yeah, it was just, like, a bedroom? Yeah. 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 Interesting. Um, cool. Yeah, Boston's nice. But I, would I do packs again? Definitely. I don't know if I'll do it next year. Um, again, it didn't, like, take as much money out as me as I thought. Less than, like, the New York did, definitely. And I, we're, I think we're our not... hotel in New York was more expensive. Was it? Maybe. I thought, I, I feel like it was, like... Well, it probably definitely was because we were splitting it two ways also. Yeah, but I'm also making, like, a lot more money than I was. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, So maybe I didn't feel the blow as much as I had. I I remember you were saying you were recovering from New York for a while. A while, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, well, I think, like, every day I spent, like, a minimum of, like, $50 on merch. Okay. PAX was not the case. All right. I didn't spend that much money. I was a, a little more... Not self control, but like I just didn't see anything that I wanted. Did I get flash at the Philadelphia one? I did, didn't I? Or did I get what, New York? Flash my, my flash statue, the, the Ezra Miller one. I'm trying to think. You I think got it was that at Philly, at Philly yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, that's cool, man. It sounded like a great time. It's yeah, time it I missed fun. it. Yeah, it's such a weren't but, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Anything else we want to, no. before we head out? All right. Well, well, I mean, we can do some housekeeping. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, 
Just to let you know, we are up on Stitcher and Spotify, as Gooch said earlier in the podcast. Go check us out on there. Follow, subscribe. Also on the other iTunes, all that good stuff. Uh, leave us reviews. We really appreciate it. Helps uh, put up our visibility and all that good stuff. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com, so stuck in our network, as well as our socials. Instagram, Instagram Twitter, at the Delco Nerds. Uh, our website, uh, duckundernetwork.com. Podcasts are up there and all that good jazz. Uh, I think that's it. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy. We will see you next time.